Hey guys, APT Designer 2.0 is here. They just released a new version of our favorite vector software. So let's look into it and you can expect multiple tutorials in upcoming days and weeks all about a new version of Affinity Software, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher. All right, so you want to stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you will see all of the new tutorials for the new version of the program in upcoming days. But today I want to explore five features let's say five things that you have to know about this new program so let's get started with this big question in the last few days in comment section all around the forum and facebook there was this big question do we have to pay for this update and the answer is yes that's a paid update so so far we use affinity designer version one there was like one and then 1.1, 1.2, and now we end up with 1.9. So they support Affinity Designer since 2014. That was the initial release, and they just finished supporting the program this year. So let's check it out. We got six plus two, that's 10 years. That's kind of the good span. So we got 10 years of support on version one and you can still use it. So they say you can still use version one, no problem, that's your choice. Just don't expect any new updates and features. All right, and they just released version 2.0 today, and it will be the same way. They're going to support this version from now on, so we will see 2.1, 2.2, and in several years we will reach the end, <laughs> 2.9, and then probably they will release a new version that we have to pay again. So. It's a paid update. We are jumping up to version two. You can still use version one if you like. That's totally fine. You can start with 30 days free trial. So you can download that totally free and check it out before you decide to buy the updated version. All right. So first thing, that's paid thing. That's paid update. It's not free. All right. <laughs> the second big question is there a shape builder finally something we've been screaming about for what like last three years all the time all the comments around that we need shape builder and the good news is yes there's a shape builder proper one take a look here on the left there's a shape builder just below the shape tool i can click on that and i can join shapes together so i can join this this and that now i can subtract shapes get rid of this and that perfect that's my shape all right so there is a proper shape builder that you may be familiar with from software like uh, adobe illustrator now is in affinity designer version 2 all right that's a great news for us and i'm going to do the whole tutorial video about this new tool so stay tuned all right is there a subscription? There was tons of like gossips or, and comments about subscription coming. No, there's no subscription for Affinity Designer. This is like you're buying software one time and you can use it until the next version. So before we bought the version one, we use it for 10 years, let's say. Now, if you purchase the version two, you can use it until they release version three. So there will be updates, free updates until version three. So that's several years for sure all right so no subscription no plans for subscription as well just a flat fee for the software and i think the price right now for designer is 69 dollars and 99 cents VAT included and right now they running this launch window promotion minus 40 percent so you can get it for 40 dollars if i could remember you can check it out on the official website all right the second big missing feature in the previous version was wrapping our vector design right we want to move change our letters build, building some interesting logos maybe shapes and we cannot do this in designer that was like huge miss opportunity and now we can take a look i click on the shape here below my layer panel there's a new icon for us and if i click on that i can select mesh option and that's more like it i can now modify this shape using this mesh 
And keep in mind that's vector mesh. I can convert this final result to curves if I want, but on the layer panel it show us the group. So there's original rectangle below and our mesh above. So that's totally non-destructive vector way of doing that. We can modify this. There's several different options here and again this is really huge improvement so we're going to explore this tool in the separate tutorial this was the big missing feature right guys like remember we try to just bend the text into art nicely and we cannot do it easily in designer now we can no problem all right so yeah you can use the layer with the text itself let's try it again here get rid of that so i can apply this let's use horizontal arc perfect that's what we always miss in the previous version in version one so now it's here in version 2.0 and i can convert this to curves uh, let's explore that i end up with the group and each letter is a vector object that's perfect so we can continue we can modify that with no tool and stuff like that pure vectors Perfect, that's exactly what we asked for. All right, so it's here in version 2.0. And the last thing is the uh, iPad version of this new updated Affinity Designer. Yes, there is, they launch everything same time. iPad, Windows, Mac OS. And they also introduce something they call universal license now. Of course, you can still buy like iPad version separately. I think it's like, uh, some promotion like 12 bucks or something like that you can check it out in your local app store for your local price in your currency but there's also this new thing and i want to mention because for people like me i'm probably going to buy this one because they give you like license for all three programs and for all three operating systems so mac os windows and ipad os so i don't need to buy everything separately from each respected store. So I think that's something for me. So if you are like power user, you need all of them on all systems, grab this one, but definitely you can start with just one app or as I started today, I just grab my 30 days trial first. So I will use my trial first and then I will update maybe using this universal license or maybe I will skip iPad version from now and just stick with the desktop one. All right, so there's iPad version. Yes, there is. Raptor, yep. Subscription, no. Should I build it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Free or paid, it's paid update. We are moving into version 2.0. It's really exciting. So many new tools and features. So guys, stay tuned, hit subscribe button. So many new tutorials coming up for this great version 2.0. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.